Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I will be giving you my bracket for the 2020 playoffs, both North America and Asia, in one video. A little different than what I normally do. Normally I would go through and give you my reasons as I make the bracket pick going on, but today I wanted to just kind of go through my bracket, show it to you, give you my thoughts on it, and explain why I picked what I picked. You can see the North America bracket is already here, uh, but we'll go through everything one by one uh, somewhat quickly so it doesn't take us too long, but that is the idea. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on my bracket, but let's jump in and let's talk about it. The first set of matches are our round one matches in North America here. Houston Outlaws will be taking on the Boston Uprising. I'm picking the Outlaws. Uprising have given me no reason to pick them. I have very little faith in the Uprising team. The Outlaws have had their struggles, they've had their moments. They still need to find some answers in main tank position especially, but for the most part, uh, I think the Outlaws should be able to win this one pretty easily. Other than their series they played at the very beginning of the season, uh, Houston has looked much better uh, than Boston all season. Washington versus Vancouver. I am picking the Washington Justice. The Justice has never actually beaten the Vancouver Titans. It's the only team that the Vancouver Titans have never beaten. Uh, I think I just said it the other way. The Vancouver Titans have never beaten the Washington Justice. The Washington Justice have always beaten the Vancouver Titans. The addition of Decay, I think, is a huge boon, uh, a huge boost for this Justice team. I think they get the win over the Vancouver Titans because I think that they have looked a lot better recently. I thought they actually looked somewhat good against the Shock. It's difficult to look good against the Shock because they didn't look great, but I thought they looked promising. They looked much better against the Shock than the Titans did last time they played, so I think the Justice take this one. I think with Decay in the roster, it's just too good of a Justice team for this Titans team. Next is round two, of course, the six-seeded Gladiators, seven-seeded Rain, and eight-seeded Fuel get their pick of opponents between Houston Outlaws, Washington Justice, and the Toronto Defiant. I think the Gladiators take the Outlaws or the Justice. I think they pick one of those two. Um, that is what makes the most sense to me. I think the Outlaws are the safer choice. I think they are much easier to read. They're not as much of a wild card. Now, granted, they haven't played in a while. Um, their game against Boston will be the first game they've played in since the Countdown Cup. So it's been a while since we've seen them. It's been about a month since we've seen them play. So they do have some secrets going uh, in that case. But I think the Gladiators will pick them. I think they're the better opponent. Gladiators have struggled against the Justice in the past. And the Justice are better now than they were last time they played. So I, I think the Gladiators take the just, uh, Outlaws. The Rain, I think, would take the Justice. I don't think they're going to be as scared of the Justice. I don't think they want to take Toronto. They have lost to Toronto in the past. Toronto is a bit of a dangerous team, and so I think if you're Atlanta, you go with the Justice. Though they're still dangerous with Decay on their roster. It is still a threatening team uh, to deal with in that way. I still think that the Rain take them instead of Toronto, a team who they've lost to uh, so far this season, uh, at least once. I think it was just that one time in the Summer Showdown. That leaves the Dallas Fuel with the Toronto Defiant. They just played a couple weeks ago. It was a not super close series. Dallas Fuel took that one, so I expect them to take it again. Toronto Defiant have been so up and down uh, this season. They've been super, like, I don't want to say up and down, I guess. They've really not really performed at such a high level at any point in time. They've had good moments, but not consistently. And I think that the Dallas Fuel have just looked better as a whole, and I think they take that one. I think there's a pretty gap. Pretty big gap between the Fuel and the Defiant, so Defiant. Not really a ton of faith for me there. Moving into the double elimination bracket. The Fusion with the number one selection of opponents, I think, take the Dallas Fuel. I think that's just the safer option, the better option to take, so I think the Fuel take them. The Shock with the second selection, I think, take the Rain. They did have a very close series against the Rain the last time they played, but I think in general... The Rain are not as strong as the Gladiators or the Valiant. And I think that that is why the Shock would pick them, even though it was a close series last time they played. I don't think the Shock would be too worried about them. The Eternal between the Valiant and the Gladiators, I think, take the Valiant. The Gladiators are looking slightly better right now. Uh, they just had a very close series, of course, with the Battle for LA. That ultimately went the distance and went the way of the Gladiators. It's very close. I think the Eternal have looked better against the Valiant this season than they have against the Gladiators, so I think they pick them. And then the Mayhem gets stuck with the Gladiators. I don't see any real upsets happening in this round. Maybe the Gladiators over the Mayhem. 
maybe the Valiant over the Eternal, depending on what the meta looks like. But I think Philly should be able to eat Dallas, should be able to beat Dallas pretty easily, or the Gladiators or the Reign or the Valiant, whoever they end up against. And same with the Shock against whoever they play. Uh, it's meta dependent. We're not sure what the meta is going to look like, but I don't feel too worried about any of these games going to upsets. Moving into the loser's bracket, this would lead the Dallas Fuel to face off against the LA Gladiators. I'm taking the Gladiators in that matchup. I think they're the better team right now. They've looked better as a whole, so I think they would beat that beat the Fuel. The Rain would take on the LA Valiant, as you can see here. I think the Valiant and Rain, they I believe have split their uh, series so far this season. Rain took the second one, Valiant took the first one. I think the Valiant are a little bit better right now. I think they're actually looking pretty good right now. The Rain still have some growing pains and some room to grow, but I think this could be a pretty good series. But I think ultimately it would go the direction of the Valiant. Up back to the winner's bracket, Fusion. I think they would beat the Mayhem Shock. I think they would beat the Eternal. I think we're gonna we're destined to get a Fusion Shock uh, winner's finals. Back down into losers, Eternal, I think, beat the Gladiators, Mayhem beat the Valiant. I think that really our top four teams are, are just kind of ahead of everybody else in a, a number of ways. I think they're just the best teams in the league right now, so I don't really expect a ton of upsets. Once again, winners, finals, I think the Shock win that one against the Fusion. Fusion have only been able to beat the Shock once this season, granted it was the most recent time they played. Uh, I think the Shock will come out prepared. They've had a uh, ample time to prepare and ample time to perform, and I think they win that one. The Eternal against the Mayhem in the Losers semifinals. I think that one goes the way of the Eternal. They have just looked better as a whole this season, and I think that there's not really much of a reason to pick the Mayhem over the Eternal when the Mayhem are kind of the fourth team in the league, or fourth team in North America, and that's really just where you feel strongly about them. They don't really feel like a team that's going to push up too much or punch up too much and beat the teams better than them right now. And then finally, I have the Fusion topping the Eternal to move on to the Grand Finals. The Shock winning the NA side of the bracket with the Fusion as the number two team in NA going into the top four. But before we can get our top four, we have to look at Asia. So let's jump there next. And you can see my lineup here. First round, Chengdu faces off against London. Chengdu have looked stronger, more consistent, especially recently than London has. London hasn't really been able to get any wins recently, so I think Chengdu should take that one. Then you get to the selections between Chengdu and Seoul. I think New York would 100% take Chengdu. They are not as threatening as Seoul on paper. Seoul is a team that has very high peaks. They could be very good. Uh, they're not guaranteed to be very good, but I think that that's when I look at the bottom two teams in Asia. If you're going to pick between Chengdu and, and Seoul, um, you're, you pick Chengdu every time. Hangzhou Spark against Seoul Dynasty, a series that could be pretty good. It's gone the way of the Hangzhou Spark more times than not, uh, as far as I am aware. So I expect the Spark, especially with the way they've been performing recently, to take this one over the Seoul Dynasty. I think Hangzhou are a very threatening team to potentially even make it into that top four, depending on how their bracket looks. Um, but you know, if they're, if they're a top four team, I mean, they have what it takes to beat Guangzhou and what it takes to beat New York. Can they beat Shanghai? Probably not, but they have what it takes to at least beat the other two. And I think that's what's the most intriguing about this, uh, bracket coming out of Asia. Shanghai Dragons will get their choice between the Spark and the Excelsior. Uh, I believe that's how it works. Uh, they would take the Spark, I think. I think the Spark are not as dangerous as NYXL is. And I think New York has been hiding a lot of what they've been trying to do. I think New York has some pocket strategies, some secrets that they're hiding that they're not showing. I think Shanghai would rather face Hangzhou, who've had to really play for everything and haven't looked as good and as consistent as New York has all season. That leaves Guangzhou to face off against New York. This should be a good series. Guangzhou hasn't played since the Countdown Cup, uh, much like Houston hasn't played since the count uh, Countdown Cup, much like Chengdu hasn't played since the Countdown Cup. So I think Guangzhou will probably have a number of strategies and stuff they've been working on that they can pull out. I am much more worried um, about Guangzhou than any other team in Asia, if I'm any other team, because you don't know what to expect from them. Chengdu, you kind of know it's going to be something chaotic, but 
they don't have the the talent that a team like Guangzhou has. Guangzhou is an incredibly talented roster. They could pull Crystal out if they really wanted to. You know, they could pull Neptuno back out. They could pull Nero back out. There's a lot of options that they have on this team to do really interesting and weird stuff. And when they haven't played for a couple weeks, it makes it even more dangerous and more threatening. So this is an interesting matchup. This is what I'm looking out for. I think the Guangzhou Charge beat the NYXL. As much success as New York's been having recently against Guangzhou, uh, you know, and even in general, they have not really lost uh, matches when Bianca plays. Uh, the only teams, the only team they've lost to since Bianca has become a starter at Shanghai. Uh, you know, when they played Hotpa again, they lost uh, to the Seoul Dynasty. So it, it's weird. It's interesting to look at New York from this perspective. But I think both of these teams are going to pull out weird looks that we haven't seen. Uh, but Guangzhou gets that extra rest. Uh, into round three that New York does not get. So I think Guangzhou takes that one. Loser's bracket match then would be between Hangzhou and New York. New York has struggled a bit against Hangzhou this season. Not a ton. I think they've only lost to them once. But I think that New York uh, would pull that one out. I think they are ultimately the better team and the stronger team. And I think though they may meet some challenge and some resistance uh, from the Spark, I think they should be able to win that one pretty easily. Winners finals, Shanghai versus Guangzhou. I mean, if, if you're not picking Shanghai, I don't I don't know what you're doing. I think Shanghai really will find this one pretty easy, and I think they will walk away from this one with a win, uh, locking up a spot in the grand finals. Guangzhou, New York, once again, this one could go either way. I think it's a very strong possibility that whoever wins the first one loses the second one, um, but I just feel a little more comfortable and confident in Guangzhou right now than I do New York. Pains me to say it as a New York fan, but right now I think Guangzhou is the team to look out for. I think they will be the team to make it to the Grand Finals as the second team out of Asia. So that means I'm picking the two top two seeds from each region, Shanghai and Guangzhou in Asia and San Francisco and Philadelphia coming out of North America. Now to the Grand Finals bracket, the top four bracket from there. Here you get to see what I have picked. So, round one, the Shock would take on the Guangzhou Charge as the winners of the North America bracket. They would take on the second place team in the Asia bracket. So you'd have the two seeds facing off and the one seeds facing off. I think San Francisco uh, versus Guangzhou would not be a super great series, personally. Maybe I'm, I'm sleeping too much on Guangzhou. To me, there's really like three top teams in the league right now. And it's San Francisco, Shanghai, and Philadelphia. Not necessarily in that order, just those are the three. And I think that whoever comes in as that fourth seed is going to have a really tough task ahead of them. Like, say New York is a team that comes in. Uh, we haven't, they've lost to Shanghai every time they've played this season. They lost to Philly when they played at the beginning of the season. You know, maybe New York, by playing in Asia, has gotten a lot better. And maybe they would play against Philadelphia this time and they would win. And maybe New York would find it to find it within themselves to beat San Francisco. But in general, I think that the second team coming out of Asia is going to be the weakest team in this bracket. And I think that that is where we are going to see the uh, most... I think most likely we're going to see a North America team in the Grand Finals purely because I think that they are better than the second best team in Asia. Now, you do have to acknowledge and uh, consider the fact that the teams in North America have to travel to Asia, so there's always the possibility that when they travel, things get, you know, a little weird. They they struggle a bit coming into Asia, but I think that when you've played a match and you've scrimmed a bit in Asia, I think they will be fine. I think they'll figure it out. They'll, they'll handle things pretty well, so I don't really think it's going to be a huge deal, but it is something to note. Um, but there are a bunch of players on these teams that are from Korea already, so it, I don't think it'll be that much of a problem for any of these teams. Anyway, as I said, I think San Francisco beats the Guangzhou Charge. Shanghai taking on Philadelphia then. I think Shanghai wins that one. Shanghai have looked so good this season. Um, Phillies have their moments, but I just think Shanghai is a bit too much for Philadelphia right now. So I think Philadelphia takes that one. Into the loser's bracket, I think Philadelphia is better than Guangzhou. Like I said, I think Guangzhou is the fourth best team here. Um, 
you know, there's an argument for who is the best between Shanghai, Philadelphia, and San Francisco, but I don't think the second team coming out of Asia will be uh, on that same level. So I think Philadelphia takes that one, though I could see it going the way of, of New York or Guangzhou or Hangzhou, whoever goes in. But for the most part, I think it, it'll likely be uh, a North American matchup in the loser's finals, as I think Shanghai will beat San Francisco uh, in the winner's finals. Ultimately, I do think that San Francisco-Shanghai is going to be the premier matchup. I think that is going to be what we see in the actual grand finals. I think that is the matchup I'm most excited to see in the grand finals. I think Shanghai-Philadelphia would be interesting as well. Um, I hope we get to see uh, an Asia team taking on a North America team in the grand finals. So I hope it's, you know, Shanghai-San Francisco, Shanghai-Philly, Guangzhou-San Francisco, Guangzhou-Philly, Guangzhou-Paris, Shanghai-Paris, New York. Paris, New York, San Francisco, you know, New York, Philly, anything like that. That's what I would like to see uh, be the, the final matchup in the grand finals. But I think it'll be Shanghai. And I think between San Francisco and Philadelphia, I feel a little bit more comfortable with San Francisco. They've been performing better in big games and big moments. They are a team that is built for the playoffs. They are a team that is driven come playoff time. I think they are going to push Shanghai the distance. I think they are going to make Shanghai fight for it. But I think ultimately Shanghai will win this series. They will take the win over the Shock. And I think the Shanghai Dragons will be the 2020 champions, beating the San Francisco Shock by a score of 4-3. to three. So that is my bracket. I know this video is a little crazy and, and hectic and all over the place. I just kind of wanted to give you my thoughts very quickly, brief thoughts on each of the matches and why I'm picking what I'm picking. But I would love to hear from you in the comments now. below your thoughts on this bracket, who you think is going to win the whole thing, whatever you uh, think, whatever is on your mind. I would love to hear from you, but that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Consider liking and subscribing for more content like this in the future. But until next time, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy. Bye-bye.